Good evening and welcome. My name is Elliot Tope from the International Home Marketing Group and it's my absolute pleasure to be your host once more. Today, I'm here to introduce one of the most anticipated new condominium developments to be launched this year. Of course, I'm talking about Joy Station by Liberty Developments, situated in the heart of Markham and just steps to the Mount Joy GO Station. We have a lot of information to share with you today, so let's get right into it. Let's start with the first rule of real estate, location. Located on Markham Road, just north of 16th Avenue, and close to every type of neighborhood convenience a resident would desire, you'll find Liberty's newest master plan community, Joy Station. The entire real estate market has continued explosive growth that not even these strange times could slow down. And whether you're looking at new homes or the resale market, low rise or high rise, every sector continues to perform month after month. New sites open and are quickly selling out. The demand is there and with limited supply, there's never been a better time to buy or to invest. When we talk about the supply in Markham, they have not seen a major new condominium community launch for well over a year. And based on the initial feedback we've been receiving from the broker community and our registrants, Joy Station is not gonna last long. Liberty Development is no stranger to the building business and has been hard at work conceiving, developing, and completing some of the most desirable and sought after communities, not only in Markham, but throughout the entire GTA. Here to help me share the impressive stats about Liberty's history is Liberty's own Marco Felice, Senior Vice President. All right, so Marco, thank you for joining us today. Uh, you and I go back a long way. I mean, we've worked together now for well over a decade, and I think this is our 12th building together, but that's really only a small portion of the Liberty history. Um, can you tell us how Liberty started and how many buildings you've done in? Sure. Firstly, uh, thanks, Ellie, for having me today, and uh, we appreciate the uh, tremendous support of International Home Marketing Group, and we're, we're glad to have been a part of uh, your growth as well, and uh, we appreciate all the effort of your agents in uh, participating this, in this industry. Uh, Liberty's proper has been around for over 20 years, but its roots go back to Markham. Uh, we're really glad to be coming home. Uh, our founders actually started on Highway 7 in the Leslie area and developed a lot of retail in the, in the early 90s uh, and basically established a lot of the commercial projects along the Highway 7 corridor that uh, established uh, the western part of Markham to what it is today. Uh, most recently, uh, you've been with us. We uh, developed the World on Young over a decade ago in Eco Liberty Square in, in uh, the edge of Markham Center. So we're happy to be back home and uh, having a new project uh, in Markham at Joy Station. Um, we've done over 30 buildings and uh, nearly 10,000 uh, condominium apartments, but uh, it's a real privilege to, to work in the industry and we're really happy to be back in the city of Markham. Yeah, I mean, 30 buildings, that's really a testament to uh, the Liberty brand and everything that you've been able to create. I mean, when you're looking for a potential site to develop something like Joy Station, are there certain things that really must check the box for you guys? That's yeah, a great question. Uh, land selection is a very important uh, criteria uh, before you come to market. What's happened since uh, the Places Grow legislation back in 2006, uh, which is introduced by uh, the government as an effort to control sprawl in the province of Ontario and manage some of the infrastructure costs, is, uh, land selection choices have become more difficult. Uh, there is a, a challenge with uh, available land that's near important infrastructure. Important infrastructure would be uh, transportation systems. And in this particular case, uh, the Mount Joy GO station, which is a short walk away from, from Joy, is a fantastic uh, criterion to look at when uh, looking at developing a project. Uh, the last secondary plan review by the City of Markham also had uh, been looking at a, a potential additional station at, at Major Mac. And so the, the transportation opportunity here for customers to get down to Union Station uh, in one ride of a train car while they do their work or, or sit down and relax instead of being in the uh, commuter uh, traffic is, uh, is an important criteria for end users. Uh, we look at what people want to do when they live in an apartment or live in a condo or a home, and we try and identify uh, what uh, infrastructure is available nearby for them, and this seems to be a great location for what people want to be near. Liberty is what we would describe as a vertically integrated builder. Can you shed a little more light on this for us? Sure, that's a great question, Elliot. Thanks for asking. 
at the end of the day, we uh, want to make sure that our purchasers are happy and they've acquired a product uh, for their home that has uh, the uses that uh, it's intended for. So when, we, when you do uh, land acquisition and conceptualization of the product, we, we're very in tune with looking at making sure we have proper amenities for the building. There's access nearby parks and schools, transportation systems, including transit, and uh, the, design, uh, the design of the product will allow the consumer to have an enjoyable life. Um, we also manage the construction process. We also manage uh, the customer care and after sales process. And we're very uh, in tune to make sure that a customer that moves in gets what they need and ensures that they can have an enjoyable lifestyle. We're, uh, we're proud to say that uh, we have zero conciliation record with Terion. Not many builders can say that. And we're very happy also to see that a lot of customers, uh, after having lived in our product, come back and ask us about purchasing new products. Uh, so we have repeat customers, which is unique in our business, but very much appreciated. Yeah, I mean, I, I've really seen that over the years in doing all these projects with you, how many people have come back as repeat purchasers and how many brokers continue to support your projects. I mean, it really does say something about the Liberty brand. We have a lot of uh, effort on suite design, a lot of uh, effort on ensuring maximized usable space, providing uh, more amenities for customers so that uh, they don't have to go outside their, their building and pay extra fees for uh, private gym memberships and so on. So we try and give the customer more value, uh, recognizing that there's increased costs in their price uh, as a result of government imposed charges. I know, most people don't realize that, and that is a staggering fee if you look at it, you know, 40%, 40 cents on the dollar. And it is weird times and strange times in COVID and what these municipalities have gone through. Uh, I don't foresee them easing up on that kind of amount. And, you know, I, what I predict is probably pricing to escalate even beyond where we are right now from an affordable standpoint. So thinking that this is probably one of those great times to get into the market. Uh, Marco, I really want to thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Ali, for having us. We really appreciate it. And uh, thank you for your support on Joy Station. Uh, it's my pleasure. Uh, next, I'm going to bring in from Liberty Development as well, uh, Director of Sales, Mr. Sean Richardson. Sean, thanks for joining us here today. It's my pleasure. All right, it's wonderful having you here so that we can share with everybody the excitement for this launch. Um, you know, unless you work in this industry, I don't think you understand the amount of time and effort it takes to bring a community like this to the marketplace. I mean, we've been working on this, not for months, but for, you know, well over a year, and it finally culminates in this type of moment. So. Let's just jump into it and let's share with the audience everything that Joy Station will be. And I'm going to let you tell us all about the stats in the building. Okay. Well, uh, it's about approximately a five acre site. Uh, our initial launch will be building A, which is 294 uh, suites. Um, across at the top, we have future development will be coming along as well as a, a future park. There will be 12 townhomes, uh, which will come in on the far eastern side. Building A is orientated mainly east and west, whereas the second tower that we will bring on is more of a north-south orientation. Uh, there is an open space also right in kind of the heart uh, of the site. Uh, that's going to be approximately one third of an acre. Uh, that open space there will have, you know, tables, chairs, something like that for people to, you know, enjoy a coffee, enjoy the sunshine. Uh, but it won't be any more extensive than that. And then our commercial component will run along the Markham side there, and that's approximately 3,600 square feet. Okay, so building A, building B, total suites? Uh, we're about to 530. They're uh, more or less twin 22-story uh, buildings. Amazing. You know, we've seen a lot of buildings out there, and you and I have worked on many in the past, but, and we've seen a lot of bad floor plans out there. But one thing I have to say about Liberty is they really work on making them livable, efficient floor plans. What's the secret? Well, the secret is the principal of the company, Mr. Fred Darvish, is an architect himself. So it's not unusual if you were to come into Liberty Head Office to see Fred, you know, with his architect team around the table, just really going over uh, the plans, making sure that they, they flow correctly. Our, our plans are going to range from 496 square feet to, at least as a standard unit, 882 square feet, which will be a two bedroom and den. Uh, it's not unusual when we launch a project for someone to say to me, you know, what's the price per square foot? What's the price per square foot? Uh, so realizing that you're paying for every square foot in the suite, we, we do uh, try our hardest. We do put a lot of energy into making sure that they're as efficient as, as possibly they can be. 
Mm -hmm. I mean, on the screen we're showing the typical tower, and I know that building B is pretty much a mirror image of that, and we've got some great podium plans uh, as well coming out. Uh, one thing I have to say about Joy Station as a development, it really has some amazing amenities, and is there anything that really stands out for you? Well, my favorite amenity is our, our seventh level uh, terrace that we have. It's, it's about a quarter of an acre, so it, it's not small by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, it has a putting green. It, it also has a seating area with a fireplace, and, and you know it also has a barbecue area. So between the putting green and the uh, golf simulator, I'm expecting the golf game of, of our purchasers to improve quite dramatically. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, the one thing about it, so they get their practice at home and then probably within a five, 10 minute drive outside of the site, uh, there are tons of golf courses out there, just like there's everything is available steps away. Sean, I want to thank you for uh, joining us here today and for the launch of Joy Station and let's get this puppy out there. It was my pleasure. Thanks for having me. My pleasure. All right. Take care, Sean. You know you've made it home when the concierge greets you as you enter the lobby. Enjoy the warmth of the fireplace before you make that short walk to the GO station to quickly get to downtown Toronto to either start your work day or a night of entertainment. The best thing about living in a development like Joy Station is not having to leave home. If you want to get your workout in, you'll go to our fully outfitted fitness center. Or if you want to share time with your neighbors or friends in the party room with private dining options, it's all there for you to enjoy. I hope you've enjoyed this presentation and are as excited as we are for the launch of Joy Station. We know that this opportunity will not last long especially when you look at the total value that Joy Station offers, a complete community with every amenity you would want, plus thoughtfully designed, efficient and livable suite options of all different sizes, shopping and services all within close walking distance, Markham Transit for your local needs. The GO train is just steps away to take you to the heart of one of the greatest cities in the world. Priced well below many new other communities out there in the 905. And now with the City of Toronto in that $1,400 PSF range, Joy will be one of those last great options priced under $1,000 a foot. And it is being brought to you by an experienced builder and development team that has delivered so many successful projects to the GTA, Liberty Developments. So before I finish, let me tell you what the next steps. If you're interested in securing a unit at Joy Station, all you have to do is reach out to your favorite realtor and they will take you through the entire process. Thank you and good night.